Our E-Team is up early, bringing you more news stories. While the fight for funding continues to keep our lakes great, the Great Lakes hold an estimated 95% of the nation's surface fresh water. But for the third year in a row, the Trump administration wants to chop funding for the safeguards in place to protect them. All new this morning, the E-Team's John Kosick takes a closer look at the proposal that was unveiled just days ago. Each summer, the EPA's 180-foot research vessel, Lake Guardian, takes to the waters of the Great Lakes, constantly monitoring the ecosystem and what amounts to one-fifth of the world's fresh water supply. But for the third year in a row, its work is threatened. In the new federal budget, that cuts funding for the EPA by a third and funding for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative by 90%. The dots on the map here show all the programs that have been funded by the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, programs that are especially important in Lake Erie, which is the smallest and the most shallow of the Great Lakes, making it the most vulnerable. We know cleaning up the lake 50 years ago was a huge, huge undertaking and has been dramatically successful, but you got to keep you got to keep doing it. Especially when you consider in Ohio alone, there are 25 public water systems along the coast that draw their water from Lake Erie for a quarter of the state's population. Water already threatened in recent years in the western basin by harmful algae blooms. In addition, the lake is an economic tourism engine, generating $15 billion a year in activity. Those cut funds also go towards efforts to keep invasive species like the Asian carp out of the lake. In the meantime, Senator Brown says they will do what they have done the past two years. Senator Portman and I will team up with senators of both parties in the Great Lakes region and from Indiana and Pennsylvania and Michigan and all over and we'll fix this. For the E-Team, I'm John Kasich.